semana. Good morning. Justin has not arrived yet. Um, he called some few minutes ago. He said he will soon be here. Good. Um, remember you have lectures for 10 to 12 this morning? Yes, I remember. The moment Johnson arrives, we shall live together. All right. That reminds me. The sausage I ate last night was too salty and it gave me a stomach upset. Who made it? That would be me, ma. It will never happen again. As a matter of fact, it was too salty and poorly done, which suggests that you're incapable of your duties here. Madam, I will say that the situation is properly taken care of. You better do. Really? Dad was trying to kill me. No, I Do not bother yourself with dreams. You know they can be funny at times. Well, I, I did not take it seriously anyway. You know. That's my girl. Now, eat and go to school, okay? Yeah. Dad is still not back. No. Since yesterday. Excuse me, my princess. Johnson is here. Really? 
Hey. Hey. Cynthia, sit down. Let him come over here. Okay. Oh. Ask him to come in. Oh. Oh, Mom, should have allowed me to go to see him. Don't go out meeting boys. Let him come here for you. But mommy came to my house to look for me. For me Eat. Eat. is not the right time for confrontations. It is not. I suggest we leave all that for now. Cynthia is sleeping and the doctor warned that nobody should make noise around her so that she will not wake up. Then warn him not to hang around my daughter. Otherwise I personally will kill him. Iwe, Cynthia has been destroying things since morning. But the moment Johnson came in and pleaded with her, she stopped. So the doctor said he should stay around her since he's the only one that can make her calm down and sleep. So, you see what I've been saying? You see what I have been saying now? He has charmed our daughter. Charmed her. And he's not even using remote control to charm her. Hello? Hey Richard Nami, how you doing? Oh boy, I'm in a fix here. Oh. Every yawa. Cynthia has refused to stay with anybody except me. And the hospital management are threatening to discharge her 
if nobody comes to, to, to stay with her. Her parents? What? I don't know about those people, though. I don't know what's wrong with them at all. Huh? Anyway, uh, just go to my wardrobe, take my key, and then get me some uh, clothes to change. Something I can at least change with. Uh, the hospital. Neuropsychiatric hospital somewhere around 21 Upper Chime Avenue. Yes. Okay, one, bye bye. And one, later. Ah, Chinedu, what? Why are you rushing like this? Are you okay? There is a problem. What problem? Oh. It's Cynthia. What? Immediately you left. She started destroying things. The drugs you brought for her, the injections, everything. And she has been. Oh, I went to town to get some beverages for my girl. But I letting anybody know you were going out of the compound. Shinedu wasn't around. So I asked one of the boys taking care of his sister to take care of my girl. You see, <laughs> Johnson, you don't expect somebody who is looking after his own sister to also look after your friend. And you don't leave this compound without telling the nurse on duty. Especially now that she's becoming more violent and destructive. You don't do that. Oh, no, sir. I, 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 anyway, I, um, I want to see somebody at the pharmacy department. But please, before I come back, see to it that the entire world is cleaned up. Is that supposed to be my job? Of course, when it is being messed up by the person you're looking after. No, is it that she, she messed up the entire place with feces and urine the very moment you stepped out? And in fact, the sight of the mess chased everybody out of the world. But nurse, how come? I mean, with all the drugs, with all the injections, how come she's not responding? How come they're not effective? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. But you see, some patients don't respond to treatment immediately. And I guess that is the case with your friend. But don't let that bother you. I believe she will soon get back on her feet. But please, see to it that the ward is cleaned up before the administrator comes in. Okay? Okay. All right. for the past three months taking care of my mother but what pains me most is that she defecates and urinates on her bed there is no day that will pass that I will not wash her sheets and urine stained clothes at times her actions make me feel she knows what she's doing and she's just doing this to punish me no, and no, she need do this is your mother we're talking about here I'm supposed to have finished my national youth service but look at me. I'm still struggling to get my first degree. It's not because I'm not brilliant, but because my mother's mental sickness keeps reoccurring at a very critical time in my academic pursuit. How about your dad? He's no more. I'm sorry about that. Um, are you the only issue? I have an elder brother and a sister. How come I haven't seen them here? I mean, how come they left only you here to suffer? Johnson, you see, my other brother stays in the U.S. with the family. And my sister is presently nursing her two weeks old son. So everything falls back to me. Notwithstanding, they send me money and constantly communicate with me over the phone. Well, it's okay. I, I know God is in control. And he has a reason and every reason for what is happening. I know very soon that reason must be manifest. Okay? Don't worry. She has started again. She has started destroying things again. Look, I, I suggest we chain her now. Johnson, the problem is not chaining her. The problem is who and who will help us do that. 
You see, I mean, as you can see, my colleagues are here to come to work. And as a matter of fact, most of the patients and the relations here are afraid of her because she has injured them. So what, what do you suggest? Okay, it's either we wait for my colleagues to come or... Or what? Or, or we can give it a trial. And that is only if you can hold her very well. Yes, I'm willing to give it a trial. Let's go, please. Ah. Yes, let's go. Let's just see. Destroy things. Cynthia, you've not been destroyed. Now anything. shut up and listen. Both of you. That chain is for mad people and cleaning up. Yes. Why do you want to visit that chain? See, be because you've been breaking things and we don't want you to break things again. You know, just, just that. You believe that? Me? Cynthia? Cynthia, 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 we are not here to harm you, okay? Yeah. Just relax. You know you are a beautiful girl. Oh, very sexy eyes. Why did you people tell me Cynthia? Okay, you just come down. Come lie down on the bed. Cynthia. 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 How are you? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Now just keep your hands. Let me go now. Hmm. <laughs> I always told you Cynthia. Decided to waste your God given knowledge in taking care of a psychiatric patient. Oh, come on, Richard. This is a girl I'm dating. I love her, you know. What love? Are you the only person who has ever fallen in love? <laughs> no, Richard. But, but you know, this. But what? What? What excuse do you have? <laughs> Look, uh, Richard. You seem not to know how deeply I am in love with Cynthia. That's your problem. Just look at your head. The girl you claim you so much love smashed your head with a torchlight. And you're here telling me about love. Love they say endures all things. Bros, if this is your idea of love, then it can go to blazes. Come on, Richard. Look, if I don't love Cynthia, I won't be here. And for crying out loud, there's no way I'm going to leave my love, I mean, in a place like this. 
No, it's never going to happen. It's not done. I don't think you know what you're saying. You don't. Your degree examination is just around the corner. And all you sit here to tell me is that love endured all things. Look, if you miss that degree examination, then I'll have it that you are under a spell. Hey, Richard, you can say whatever you want to say. But whatever you have to say today, nothing is going to change my mind. And nothing is ever going to make me leave Cynthia. Okay? I mean, do you know how much she has spent on money? My friend, don't be a fool. You don't be an ingrate. Look, as a matter of fact, if I've stayed, you're welcome. You can leave now. Are you asking me to get out of this place? My friend, leave. 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 Just leave, Richard. Leave me alone with my foolishness. Leave. I think you need your head examined. The next time you come back here and talk to me this way, I'll make sure you drink from this shit and urine water. Okay, Richard? So you are still here. Ibe. After warning you not to stay around my daughter. No, no sir. There's, there's nobody to take care of her. So I, I decided to stay. I've been the one taking care of her since. You must be a fool. Are you sure you're not doing all this as a cover-up? I don't understand you, sir. You are asking me questions? Ibe. After, after leading my daughter astray, and letting her go through all this pain? Igwe, who am I to ask you any question? But just what? That... What? Now, listen, Johnson, or whatever your name is. I am telling you, I don't want to see you around this vicinity any longer. If you want to take care of anybody anyway, why don't you go and take care of your old, wretched parents in the village? Me. Mark my words. If I see you around here again, if I see you around here again, Johnson, I will deal with you. You will see hell. Igwe, what is it? Do you know this beef that has been polluted since last night? Igwe, it's all right. Johnson, it's okay. God will definitely reward you. Yeah. Cynthia, we came to see you. <laughs> oh. Oh. After abandoning me here today, Cynthia, we are deeply sorry. But oh, don't worry, your mother is now here to take care of you. As far as I am concerned, you, you are not my mother. And me, oh, I'm not your daughter. So, uh, oh. Cynthia, it's not like that. We, we have brought uh, Chiwe, Chiwe, your mother's uh, younger sister, to take care of you until you are fully recovered. <laughs> Chiwe, you're welcome. Eh? But unfortunately, you cannot take care of me because Johnson is taking care of me. Oh, so please just go with them. Thank you very much, darling. Let us go to the evening meeting, okay? Oh, uh, um, Cynthia. I wanted to listen to your parents. I mean, they mean well for you. I mean, they mean well. Johnson. Have you joined all these mad people? No, Cynthia. Don't. Johnson. Have you joined them? I have not. Don't think that way, okay? It's just that. Oh. 
Are you coming with me or not? Buy this food from since I got it from the restaurant across the road. How many times have <laughs> I warned you? Don't you ever get me food from that place? Oh, Cynthia, you, you said you wanted rice, and I got you rice. So you want to tell me that you did not see any other place to buy me rice, Abby? Cynthia, you, you know that the only place where they sell good food around here is, is quite far. Enter Okada. Eh? Go ahead, enter Okada. No, oh, Cynthia, look, I was concerned with the fact that you've not had anything this morning. Doctor. And by the time you, 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 you take your drugs without food, it's going to see your mind. Are you the one taking the drugs for me? Look, I know I'm not the one that will take your drug for you. But the fact still remains that if you take your drugs without this food, they will react. I mean, oh. <laughs> so you did not see any other place in this town to go and buy me food. Except for that witch infested, dirty place. Google, think I'm from a wretched, poor family like you. You mean? You have the mouth to call my family wretched? When your family with all the abundance of wealth, I mean abandoned and left you here to suffer and die. Give me some respect, girl. What did you just say? Huh? You heard me well. What did you say? I will kill you today. I will kill you today. I'm sorry, sorry. Cynthia, eat your food so you can take your drug. I'm not eating this type of food. Don't buy me two bottles of water again. God, you requested for this and I got it. So what's your problem? When I said I'm not eating again, is it by force? What do you take me for? An errand boy? Look, Cynthia, how about you pay me for taking care of you? What? No, no, no. What do you mean don't? She, she, she did it on purpose. Just say don't. I, I, I know how you feel, okay? But don't forget, she hasn't fully recovered. No, no, I don't think so. No, she's done it before and she's trying to try it again. Johnson, I understand your grievances, but she is not yet okay. And you really have to avoid anything that will put a trigger of anger because that wouldn't help her present health condition. Please, okay? Cynthia. How could you, how could you throw a plate of, uh, of, of gari on somebody who has been taking care of you? How could you do that? He cost it. Will you shut up? Your parents abandoned you here and the gratitude he gets for taking care of you is a plate of eba being poured on him. I mean, what, what are you doing? He was abusing my family, and he should be your friend. You better warn him, warn him. Cynthia, let me ask you. How many people will let their degree examinations go up in flames 
Only for him to stay back in a psychiatric hospital, washing the urine and physics stained clothing of a girl he is not yet married to. How many people? Uh, I appreciate his, his, his kindness. Uh, but his problem is that... The problem with you, Cynthia, is that you easily forget the past, especially when you are angry. Let me tell you, Cynthia, Johnson's sort of kindness is always hard to find. And if I were you, I would begin to control my actions. Because if he leaves, if he leaves, it will be so difficult to get someone else who will be taking care of you the way he does. Cynthia, control your anger. Control your anger, Cynthia. Um, Johnson, take it easy, okay? I mean, you're used to all these things. Believe me, I did not know when I did all of those things. Please forgive me. I promise. I promise I'll never do it again. It's okay. Justin, so you're still here. What do you mean, I'm still here? You're asking me what I mean? Our degree examination is coming up in two days' time. And you stand here to ask me what I mean. Man, I think that girl has bewitched you. Did you say bewitched me? Of course! Because you are no longer the Johnson I used to know. Cut it! How, how dare you speak such evil against someone I love? I did not speak any evil against you or anybody. Your actions simply shows that you have been hypnotized. Hey. Caution your lips, Richard. And for God's sake, keep Cynthia out of this. Of course I can't. Hush. She is the reason why you are here. Man, why have, you just, why have you just decided to ruin your future? Why have you just decided to destroy yourself because of a girl who might just turn her back on you tomorrow? I don't blame you. You see, this your everyday hit and run game has made you a total alien to real love. You have not answered my question. What other answer do you want when you don't, I mean, when you believe I'm under a spell? Listen, Richard, when you love someone, you do everything, I mean, everything humanly possible to protect her. And missing your final year examination is your idea of protecting your love. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Man, how can an intelligent man like you stoop so low and turn yourself to an errand boy for a girl who beats you up all the time, tears your clothes, and bites you all in the name of madness? But I've told you times to that number, Richard, that true love endureth all. Not at your detriment, Johnson. Not at it. Have I told you this to my detriment? Of course it is very obvious. Listen, no. listen Richard, cut it! Look, if this is what you come here to tell me every day, I'd rather you stop coming. Okay, I suggest you stop from today. Man, you know what? Sometimes I just wonder why you have just decided to waste your career. Look, enough of this stupid talk. What I am saying is not stupid. Yes, it is. Richard, if you ever come back to say these things to me again, I promise you one thing. I'll call the bluff. Where are you going? 
Mr. Johnson. I am going back to school. Back to school? Yes. You never told me you'll be leaving today. Why this sudden decision? I have tried. I can't keep helping someone who doesn't know. Someone who not, who's not aware. Who doesn't appreciate it. Someone who tears my clothes to shreds. Man, it's crazy. Maybe I'm going crazy too. I understand how you feel, Johnson. But I want you to understand that Cynthia has now regained consciousness. And some of these things she does, she does them unconsciously. I perfectly understand that. And that is why I'm still here till now. Why then are you living unceremoniously? Chinedu, her parents. Her parents? How do you mean? Look, they won't just give me a breathing space. They, they've sworn to, to feed my flesh to the birds in the sky. I mean, what did I do? For what reasons? So, because of their empty threat, you want to leave Cynthia? Look, Nedu, it's no empty threats. Look, they mean every word that came out of their mouth. I still love my life. And I won't let any ingrates waste me for no reason. No. Johnson, I thought you said you're one love apostle who strongly believes that love endears all things. Yes. But in a case where human life is involved, man, you gotta make a switch. And that is what I've done. Look, 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 Johnson. You see, I know your mind is made up. I can say that again. And there is no point asking you not to go. But what message have you if you leave Cynthia now that she needs you most? What message have you? Think about it. Honestly, Cynthia, I love you from the depth of my heart. And if you give me the chance to come into your life, I'll forever love and care for you. No matter the circumstances? No matter the circumstances. In fact, I'll not just love and care for you, I'll also stand by you. to retreat. Let's go in. Cynthia, now that you have been discharged, it is very important to know that this sickness might reoccur if you do not take your drugs on a daily basis. The issue of coming for checkups can never be overemphasized because, you see, it helps your doctor to know whether you are relapsing or not. If there's any sudden development, feel free. Consult your doctor, okay? Well, doctor, we, we want to say we are very grateful for this wonderful support and the brotherly love that you have shown us throughout our daughter's stay here. We are indeed very grateful. You're welcome, Your Highness. Apart from the fact that we have finished paying the bill, we would like you to take this as a sign of our appreciation. Thank you very much, Your Highness. But I did whatever I did wholeheartedly and did not have the intention of receiving any gift from anybody. It is a part of my job, you know. Doctor, we know all that. But if you quantify your kindness to us, to this token, you will see that it's nothing to write home about. Please, accept it. Well, thank you so much for your kind gestures. Thank, thank you, you madam. Thank you. You're welcome. I will appreciate it if you people will 
help Cynthia to always avoid anything that will make her fall back into the sickness. I would really appreciate it. Are you Cynthia? If I were you, I would pray to God always never to lose that man, that young man, Johnson, for anything. He is the kind of man that every woman would want to have. On behalf of your mother and myself, I want to apologize to you. I want you to forgive us in any way we might have offended you. And I want you to know that as from now, I promise to give you anything that you want to make you happy. Anything at all. Just tell me and I will do it for you. With my whole heart, I had already taken everything that happened to be history. I want to say that I am very sorry for everything I put you people through. It's okay, my daughter, it's okay. Now that you're fully recovered, uh, you have to buckle up to meet up with the studies. I've been thinking about going back to school finally. You know, moving into the hostel so I'd be able to concentrate very well on my studies. Well, if the hostel would do it, then... Uh, <clears throat> Get ready. But like I have always said, I don't want to see that Johnson of a boy around you again. Is that clear? Your mom will take you out shopping. Is this nonsense I'm hearing about you stealing somebody's money? Dad, I did not steal anybody's money. So how did the money get into your bag? They did friend me up. Will you shut up? Cynthia, you have everything at your beck and call. Yet you choose to drag the family name to the mud. I will not fold my arms and have you do that. Daddy, you, you don't seem to understand what I'm... Understand what? 
that you put the family name into mud by 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 stealing your your roommate's fifty thousand naira? Cynthia, you are not only a disappointment. You are a disgrace to the family, and I don't wish to see you in this house until the end of the semester. Okay. <clears throat> Since you say you don't want me in the house, fine. But can I have the money for my change of course? Cynthia, you don't seem to get it right. You don't seem to understand. You will not get a cobble from me until you've come back to your senses. So, my dream of becoming a pharmacist is going to die just like that? Pharmacist indeed. That dream is not only dead, it has gone up in flames. to cash some money but your account officer told me that you instructed him not to allow me withdraw more than 30,000 naira in two weeks oh my dear my dear my dear I'm really very very sorry I forgot to mention this to you long before now actually I gave that instruction because I wanted to stop your excessive spending it's a lie huh? it, wait it's a lie you did that so that I won't be able to raise enough money for Cynthia's change, of course. But now that I know your evil plan, I am going to sell all my trinkets. I will sell whatever I can learn my own. Shut up! You will not do such a thing. And this is the last time I will have that matter discussed in this house. Except you want to go back to your father's house. Now get out, I am eating. I say, get out, I am eating. It's me. How is the family? I hope they are fine. Oh, that is good. That is good. I like that. Yes. Uh, actually, I called to remind you that my Ofala festival is coming up very soon. Yes. Okay. Uh, let us do it like that. Yes. Please say me well to the family again. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Yes? Your Highness, Cynthia is lying critically ill in the hospital and... Is that what you came here to tell me? Yes, Your Highness. Did she not tell you that I vowed never to take her bills again for refusing my advice to leave that Johnson? She told me, Your Highness, but please consider her illness. If I say something, I never return to my vomit. I have taken my decision and that is final. I'm sorry for pestering you this much, Your Highness. But are you by any chance saying that you're going to fold your arms and watch your daughter die helplessly in that hospital? No. Listen to me, young girl. You are taking this matter too far. And I am not going to tolerate any more questions from you. Have I been myself clear? Now, you get out of my compound. And I don't want to see your foot in my palace any longer. Now, go!
nonsense. Try and want to solve the problem. Wipe your tears and be yourself, especially now that we are approaching the gate, okay? Does it matter who sees my tears? But my own father does not even want me to see the light of today. Simply because I refuse to play by his rule. Don't, don't think about it that way. The fact is that he doesn't approve of your relationship with Johnson. So that's why he's treating you this way. Jessica. I'd rather die with this sickness than leave Johnson. My, my God will not let you die. Johnson. Johnson. Where have you been all this while? Well, let's say the question should have rather been why did you not deem it necessary to tell me you were hospitalized? Why? Sorry. You've done a lot for me. I can't keep running to you all the time. What's that? What's that? I just don't want to pester you anymore. It's true. You've done so much for Cynthia. The best thing you would be asking for too much. Oh, nothing will be asking for too much when it has to do with love. Okay? Look, I can't see it and watch you die of this ailment, all right? Anyway, uh, I brought some money for the surgery. What? Yeah, um, my elder brother in Germany sent some money for completion of his beauty. Why not? <laughs> Let's just use it and save my dear's life. Joseph, you mean you want to sacrifice you, you, you. Your brothers? No sacrifice. It's too much for my center. Okay? I love you. Now let's go in, pay this money, see the doctor, and get treated. So it gets well for me. Okay? Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I sent for you so that we can talk. I am your father. And you have no other father, no matter how you intend to interpret it. You are my daughter. And I want the best for you all the time. But it has been a disappointment because I cannot imagine a young girl like yourself going against the wishes of her family because of a tout? A criminal who parades himself around you without any good intentions? You have even forgotten that you come from the royal family. These are the things that have been annoying me. I have therefore decided that all the privileges that I withdrew from you before, I return to you. But under one condition. What? You will have nothing to do with that boy again. You were supposed to accompany me to Richard's house to warm his Again, I told you about my cousin's traditional wedding. Even before the cards were printed, he did not show up. I mean, you know I'm the president of my association. We had a meeting last night. You know I needed your presence there, at least for support. You were not present. The 
Honestly, I... You said you make it up to me. That's why I didn't see anything. Is it that you don't want our company again? Or you're avoiding me, Cynthia? Johnson, it's not what you think. Look, I've been meaning to tell you this, but I never knew how best to make you understand the situation. Look, <clears throat> we have to put an end to this relationship. I mean, we, we cannot get married. Says who? My family. Your family? I thought you said you settled all that. I tried. I tried, but it, it, it didn't work out as I thought. Johnson, you know I'm a princess. And then the custom demands that I marry only a prince. And you are not a prince. I see. So where were your family when I rescued you from the clutches of death? Or where was your useless custom when, when I starved just to make sure you ate? Look, Johnson, it, 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 it's not about my family, okay? It's my friends. They say you're a cultist. I see you now believe the reports of your friends more than mine. This is not a matter of if I believe them or not, Johnson. You and I know that this cultist of backfires even after graduation. And when it does, things fall apart. Let me ask you, Cynthia. Where were those your friends when you needed them the most? Where were they when I lost a whole academic year just to make you leave? Johnson, it's not about my friends. It's about me. Look, I can't get married to you because you are a movie star. People's favorite producer and director. I'll be putting my life on jeopardy if I decide to, to tag along with you. Besides, there are a lot of girls out there who have eyes for you. And they know I can't stand that. I see. Can you hear yourself, Cynthia? Just hear yourself. It's no longer your family, nor your friends. It's now you. Do you know what you're talking about? Look, I don't intend to hurt your feelings. But. Cynthia, I see you're hiding something from me. But if this is the gratitude I get for being nice to you, for being there for you when everybody, the whole world failed you, so be it. But I must let you know one thing. No one will ever love you. Is that what you're saying, Johnson? You know, the problem with you is that you always think you're the best. But let me tell you, there are lots of better guys out there who can do anything just to have a relationship with me. Well, since this relationship has finally hit the rocks, I do not intend to keep your engagement ring.
Traditional marriage is finally materializing. Really? I'm so happy for you, girl. Thank you, girl. Thank God. Thank you. I know your parents will one day see reasons with Johnson. Which Johnson? The same Johnson, of course. Your fiance. Jessica, why do you like living in the past? Uh, please, oh, I don't want my father to hear that name in this house. I beg. Uh -uh. Johnson is history now. How do you mean? I mean, I have called it quits with Johnson. And I have given him back his engagement ring. Cynthia, are you sure you're still with your bright senses? Jessica, did you come to my house to insult me? I did not come to insult you, but you're beginning to talk like a fool. Jessica, me. Jessica, you mean I talk like a fool? You are calling me a fool in my own house? I think you have overstayed your welcome. Now get out of my house this minute. Get the hell out of my house right now! Well, I see you have a very short memory. But let me tell you something. Only fools forget the past so quickly. My friend, get the hell out of my house right now! Idiot! Let me not see you here again! Fool! Just look at Jessica. What in God's name do you want here? Doesn't please, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Please forgive me. Forgive you? For what? For what I did to you the other time. I'm truly sorry. Believe me, it wasn't my fault. 
my father pushed me into it. It, it will never happen again. Please. It will never happen again because there's no second chance. And I suggest you leave now. Are you asking me out of your house? Yes! And you had better be fast at that! I, I love you from the depth of my heart. I was only fighting the factors that have been militating our relationship. But my heart, I have made up my mind. And it has to be you or no one else. Joseph, where you go? Where's my wife? Oh, be dear. Please, 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 please. I'm sorry, Yubi, I'm sorry. Please help me with this. I'm, I'm very sorry. I don't even know how to do this. Please, just try, just try. Huh? nonsense all about. Sit here. When did you start talking to your father disrespectfully? The same day he started working against me. What do you mean? Daddy, you have satisfied your desires. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop pretending you don't know what I'm talking about. Because you orchestrated this whole drama. Sit here, you're, you're getting us more confused. What do you mean? Mommy. It is quite unfortunate that you've been married to daddy for so many years, yet you do not know the kind of man you're married to. Gee. Well, the reason why I am this sad is as a result of this. What is it? 
she has been relieved of her duties in the office. Why? Poor attitude to work and non challenge. My princess, how am I now the cause of your relief? Oh, of duties? Daddy, stop behaving as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Because I have concrete evidence to drive home my point. What evidence? That you and my manager connived to frame me up. Who gave you that stupid information? It is no stupid information, Daddy. I have your discussion with my manager on tip. He gave it to me. Just to prove to me that he did not intend to sack me. But for the instructions that you gave him to do so. What? Don't mind her. She's just bluffing. Bluffing? Well, Mommy. I guess you'll be in a better position to say who is bluffing after listening to this thing. Let's go, let's go. of the things I would like to buy. How does that concern me? <laughs> Dad, you know I've been jobless for over three months now. I need to update my wardrobe and then buy some cosmetics for myself. And you want me to finance that? Of course, yes. <laughs> Cynthia, you are not only stupid, you are also mad. Dad, I am mad because I am fighting for my right? Which right? Which right? Daddy, please. I am not in the mood for your questions and answers. Alright? So are you ready to give this to me or not? Or you want me to go get it from somewhere else? Cynthia, you are becoming a thorn in my flesh. And if it is war you want in this house, I swear, I will serve it to you real hot. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll carry this file, sort out the list of artists that will be meeting this month. Okay, I hope you have the original cast list. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so I'm here to see their pictures. So. Yes, come in, come in. Mbolombo, Makota. So, all my advice and warning fell on deaf ears. Advice and warnings? Your Royal Highness, I don't think I am in the mood for your power play this morning. As you can see, I am busy with my job here, my scripts, my directing works, I'm working here. And will, I will you shut your stinking mouth before I shut it for I you? I will not, your highness. This is my office. And I will not have you insult me in here. <laughs> I like your guts. I would have loved to have you as my one and only son-in-law. But as you can see, our tradition does not allow me to take such decisions. Your Highness, if you are here to discuss your senseless and useless customs with me, then you can as well hit that door. You call our customs senseless and, and, and useless? Yes! Because that is one reason why your village has up to death remained a kaiva. No improvement. Oh. I see that you have grown wings, and I am going to clip those wings for you. 
if I dare see you near my daughter. Johnson! You came pretty late, your highness. Salt and oil cannot be separated. And if I should see you or any of your boys any inch near my territory again, sir, I will defy your royalty. Now, your highness, please leave my office. Get out! Calm down, calm down. Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Listen, I would suggest you stop seeing Cynthia. What? Yes. Are you saying this because of that old man's ranting? That old man wasn't just ranting. That man is dead serious. I saw it in his face. Oh, spare me the good news. Right? I'm good for the location. So you better join me. Look, John, say, oh, shit. I have told you what I told you. That man is capable of springing surprises anytime, any day. I'm waiting for you in my car. Disturbing my peace. Disturbing your peace? Tell me for crying out loud, this is my future you are talking about here. Cynthia, if your seeing Johnson is what you call a future, then you have no future. Dad, you, when I was young, you made me understand that you were such a caring, such a loving father that would always answer to his child's request. Cynthia, I am still that father. Then why haven't you listened to Johnson's request to get married to me? My princess, because what you must try to understand that his request is kicking against our custom. Custom? Custom? Let me ask you. My life with that, 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 that so-called custom. Which one do you appreciate the most? Princess. I value you the most. But I cannot joke with the custom of our people. I see. I see. So all you've been trying to do is just join with my life. I can see that you hit me with a passion. You can interpret it in whatever form you want to interpret it. All I know is that I cannot defile the custom of our people. A custom I have sworn to protect. Now, can I eat in peace? I'd rather starve than eat the food of Ingrid like you and Dad. You don't have to call us names, Cynthia. We know what is good for you. I don't need any native doctor to tell me that you and Dad do not mean well for me. Don't talk like that, my princess. We are your parents and we know what is good for you. Mom, I do not think you mean you know what is good for me. Because if you did, you wouldn't be kicking against my getting married to Johnson. Cynthia, how many times will I tell you that our hands are tied as regards to your marrying Johnson? 
Baby, why don't you want to understand this thing this way? Like I said earlier, starving yourself will not solve this problem. Obidia, are you pleading with her to eat? Cynthia, as far as I am concerned, you can starve yourself to death. I don't care. Dad, so you are bent on destroying my life? Cynthia, I am not bent, neither do I intend to destroy your life. All I am saying is that what you are asking for is a tall one. And if I compromise, I will be incurring the wrath of the gods of our tradition, of which I am the custodian. Oh, do you want your entire family to be wiped off? God forbid. So, what you're trying to say is that there is no way I can get married to somebody who gave me life, even when my own family wished me death. Cynthia, all that was in the past. Why don't you forget the past and face the future? Mommy, there is no way I can forget about the past. The past is the bedrock of the future. Cynthia, you know what? You have allowed the past to take over your senses. And that is danger. That it has to be Johnson or no one else. Because I have not been able to see one person that can make me forget anything about Johnson. Cynthia, I think you are joking. Joking? We shall soon find out who is choking. Well, for your information, I will be introducing you to your husband very soon. Sorry if I embarrassed you. I, I was only doing you good. Dad, you call arranging a husband for me doing me good? <laughs> My princess, we are talking here of Prince Obi Nawafo, the only son of Igwe Clement Nawafo, traditional ruler of Ebenato, the sole owner of Clement's Airlines. Clement's Bank, Clemento Oil, Clement's Shipping Line, and numerous investment worth millions and millions of dollars. Dad, yeah, please, I don't care. I don't care if he's the American president or if he owns the whole world. I don't care. My princess, you just have to care. You have to care. Because you are going to marry Prince Obinawafo because of the long-standing relationship that I have with the family. Oh. Now I know where you're going, Dad. But listen, my love for Johnson can never be bought over by some bunch of fools who siphon government money and think they can have everything at their beck and call. Besides, who doesn't know that he belongs to a secret cult? Nonsense. How dare you? Dad, you slapped me? Yes. And I am giving you 14 days. Cynthia, 14 good days to make up your mind to marry Prince Obinawafo. Otherwise! Otherwise, what will happen? Oh, Cynthia, I swear I will disown you. Now get out! This is the most trying period of my life. 
My father has threatened to disown me if I don't make up my mind in 18 days on marrying Prince Mwafo. What? I tell you that was what he told me yesterday evening. That's too bad. But how could your father dictate to you whom to marry and who not to marry? And for him to have said that means he'll stop at who nothing. Who are you to, to come into my house and insult me? I'm sorry, Your Highness. So you are one of the girls who's been misleading my daughter? I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'll Would you shut up? Now get out of my house. I said get out before I call the police. The guards are too. Are these the type of girls that you go out with? Those who don't have upbringing in their houses. I am totally disappointed at you. And if you don't make the best of the times that you have now, you will regret being a member of this family. I will not regret anything, Daddy. And if that is your plan for me, then it will not work. What is happening here? Ask her. Ask your stupid daughter. Cynthia, what is it? Mom, it's dad. Since I refused the marriage proposal of Prince Mwafo, that has been on my neck. The other day, daddy slapped me. He slapped me for no just cause. He seized my carcass. And then instructed the gatesman never to allow me go out. And then today my friend Jessica came to see me. Daddy walked her out. Mommy, why is that treating me like an outcast? Why? It's okay, my dear. I'll talk to him later. Well, that is left for you. But let me state this emphatically, that I, I will never marry an illiterate. I can never marry somebody I do not love, somebody I don't feel anything for, or somebody who will be ordering me around this house simply because of his wealth. I won't. And any other time I get this embarrassment from anybody in this house, I swear to God, I will make this house too hot for that person to stay in. Yeah, um, <clears throat> is this Johnson? Yeah, this is Cynthia. Johnson, you made your bill in this town. And yesterday night. And you didn't even bother to call me. Oh, honestly, I tried. But your phone just wasn't going through. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, see, my father seized my phone, he froze my account and, and everything. But then you should have called me on the landline then. Honestly, I thought about that, dear, but you know, some other person may, may just pick the phone and you know what that is. I understand. Um, so how did the recording go? Fine, 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 fine. Actually, I, I finished recording the boat movies three days ago and I stayed back to sign a contract to direct a movie for Immortal Films. And it will be shot in the cities of London and South Africa. Really? Oh, that's so beautiful. God, I'm happy for you. Thank you. We can say that again. Uh, well, Johnson, I'm fine. Okay, it's just that. Look, things are really going here while you're here, alright? I know you're pretty busy, but then just try and make our time so we can see. Yeah, it's, it's really important. I'm so it's true. So it's true you have been seeing him. Dad, I, I, I don't like what you're doing. Would you give me this and shut up? Hello? Cynthia, I can't hear you. Hello? Hello, Cynthia? The matter is, you don't seem to understand that the cockroach is not seen where chickens gather. Your Royal Highness, I thought you would have overgrown this. Overgrown? Now listen to me, lover boy. Nothing comes between me and the custom of my people. 
And please don't phone this number again, except you want to say hello to the devil. Daddy, give me my phone. Give me my phone, no. Give me my phone. I am seizing this one again. Oh! What kind of man is this? Oh, Jesus. Okay, go with this. But I must buy another one. I will guess another one. Every time you seize my phone, I will keep guessing another one. What kind of a man is this? Yeah, who's that? Who's that? On my way out to the shop, so no, I'll have to go out with you. Yeah? Ah! Sorry? Can I help you guys? to listen you think you are now grown up so you can talk to me anyhow I am going to teach you a lesson today take him away I just want to ask you this. Why are you doing all this? Cynthia. It is because I don't want the name of the family to be soiled. <laughs> okay, um... Let us, you know, reason together. Do you think that what you're doing can make me love or get married to Prince Wafa. Are you by chance saying that uh, you are going to disobey my orders? Oh, no, no, not at all, not at all. I am not going to disobey your orders, Dad. But you have made a mess of my love life. For five good years now, I've been keeping quiet. The fact that I've been keeping quiet does not mean I'm a fool. Or the fact that I respect you does not mean that I am scared of you. I've been keeping quiet because I thought maybe you would change or have a rethink. But no. You are getting worse and worse by the day. I refuse to say anything yet. Should anything 
happen to Johnson? I said, should anything happen to Johnson, I swear to God, I will be the first person to announce your obituary. <laughs> oh, children. anyone? I wish it was a fight. Then what happened to you? Your father. What? Do you mean my father did this to you? Yes, your father did that to him. How? Look, I don't know how, okay? Johnson told me that your father came here with his bodyguards and took him away. They went and dealt with him and brought him back. When I came here, I saw him brutalized, so I took him to the hospital. This is really unbecoming of my father. And I think this is the best time for me to show him the kind of person that no, I am. No, Cynthia. That is not the reason why I invited you here. If there's any woman that I've ever truly loved, it is you, Cynthia. You walked into my life and I took you like a sister. And that's why. That's why I have not taken you to bed. Not that I don't feel like it or that I'm not man enough. But my heart tells me that we'll spend our lives together forever. So why the rush? I've come to understand that the battle we have is the lost one. I... I don't get you. I remember telling you that my parents are alive. And that I'm the breadwinner in my family. Cynthia, should, should I die now? I'll leave my, my brothers and sisters at the mercy of my wicked uncles. And that I never wish. I, <clears throat> I remember all that, but I still don't get you. Honestly, I would have loved to hang on to you to the end of time god knows but i'll be putting my life in jeopardy johnson how can you talk like this when did you know we've almost conquered conquered did you say conquered maybe because you don't know the kind of father you have or perhaps because you're not the one at the receiving end Cynthia, look at me. Just look at me. I have a number of movies to shoot. But it's Christmas or before the end of Christmas. But I can't. It pains me so much to know that all my dreams for us can never be. Johnson. Only God knows. I mean, Cynthia. Heaven knows. I've tried. Johnson, please. Please don't do this to me. 
Remember all the love we shared? All the dreams? The wishes? I, I virtually remember everything, Cynthia. But I have to call you quits because I miraculously escaped this particular attack. Who knows? I might never be this lucky. Go back to your family, Cynthia. So you have to go now. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. Cynthia, what I think here is that your father is just out to send Johnson to any grave. I think you should know that. You mean, you people do not clean here anymore? We do, ma. You do, ma. And why is this place this dusty? Look at everywhere. If you can't do this job, you will leave this place. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. No. Yes, my dear. Mom. Mommy. Mommy, where is dad? Where is dad? What's the matter, Cynthia? Mommy, where is dad? Cynthia, come on, calm down. Except if you want me to do something funny, just tell me where daddy is. Your daddy has gone to Abuja for an emergency meeting of their party executives. When is he coming back? I don't know. He didn't tell me. But he said he will be communicating with us. Well. I guess I'll have to meet him up in Abuja. Cynthia, you have not told me what the matter is. Mommy, what is it you want to hear that you haven't heard before? Please, just let me be, okay? Just stay away from this house. You're going to be my next victim. I forgot a very important document in my briefcase upstairs. I want to go and get it. What is it? You will. Ah, thank God you're here. There's a big problem. Very big one. What problem is that? It's Cynthia. It's Cynthia. She's been asking after you. He will think she wants to do something very stupid. Mother, has, uh, has her madness started again? I don't know, Igwe, but I suggest you leave now. You mean you want me to leave the document? Igwe, Igwe! To, to Abuja for executive meeting of the party. Cynthia, how did you get to my pistol? I got it from where you left it. Look, do you know that that thing is not a toy and that it kills? Well, I guess it is going to kill somebody right now. If you don't answer my questions correctly. First, who took the money I left in my box? I, I did. Oh, see. You were not even satisfied with freezing my account, making me live a hopeless life. You go ahead to search my room, rob me of the little money I have. See? Now, where is the money? She's in my bedroom. Let me go and get it. Will you stand right there or else I blow your brains on this wall? Oh. I 
never knew your highness could be this obedient. Good. So Cynthia, have you forgotten? Is your father you're talking to? Now quiet, woman! Now listen to me. If you don't shut that thing you call a mouth, swear to God, you will be the first person to go. Over to you, your highness. Do you have to kill in order to keep the customs of the land? No, please. Then why did you kill Johnson? You did? I did not. I Don't you lie. I know you will never accept it. Knew it. So there is no point wasting my time with you. You know, you are a very loving father. But you cherish the customs and traditions of the land more than my life. I would have loved to forgive you. But you unceremoniously destroyed my peace. And now, if I let you be, my spirit will never have peace. So. Cynthia, do you know what you are trying to do? I am going to put a stop to this nonsense that has pulled me down and made me desolate. Cynthia, you want to kill your father? He started the killing first. I'm going to end it now. Cynthia, now, now that you know how to handle a gun, and you are threatening the life of the man who brought you to this world, go ahead. No, 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 you could just go ahead. Pull the trigger, pull no. the trigger. No, pull the trigger. No, pull the trigger. No, pull the trigger. Pull it. Now, mom, please, I beg you in the name Step of God. Step aside. Now, tell me, Cynthia, why do you want to kill your father? Because my father killed me a long time ago. Killed you? I don't understand. Chiu, I know you won't understand. But my father killed the one man that I've ever truly loved. The one guy that knows what the four-letter word love really means. Mm, I'm awfully sorry about that, Cynthia. But why would your father shed blood? Customs and traditions. He was trying to protect the customs of the land, which states that a princess must only get married to a prince. That was how Johnson died. Johnson? You mean your father killed Johnson? Yeah. Thanks to our barbaric traditions. It's really unfortunate, Cynthia. I cannot understand your grievances. Um, but if I were you, Cynthia, I would not be vindictive because vengeance is of the Lord. Are you trying to say I... I shouldn't revenge my father for the evil he has done to me? Yes, Cynthia. Because I strongly believe in my heart that a new leaf is about to be turned in your life. It's been a long time indeed, Princess. I'm sorry for not keeping in touch. Oh, well, it's all right. I mean, I thought you were never going to call again after being embarrassed by that wicked soul that calls himself my father. It's nothing. Actually, I was tied down in the office with office work. I promised to squeeze out time to sympathize with you one on one. Sympathize with me? Wait, <laughs> Jessica, I, I don't understand you. What, what do you mean? I'm talking about Johnson's death. Johnson's death? Wait. Which, which Johnson are you talking about? Is it, is it my own Johnson? Haven't you heard? I heard it over the radio this morning that a renowned film director, Johnson Chijindu, was shot dead yesterday night along at the port road by unknown gunmen. And they... Hello? Hello? Hello, princess. Oh, oh you were safe. 
said for you, what is it? Can't you see that I'm in the meeting of uh, Council of Elders? I'm sorry to bring you out. I just want to tell you that Cynthia's madness has started again. Yeah. That is why you took me out of them council. Can't you give us some drugs? Ah, Igwe, we are talking about real madness here, not ordinary sickness. Where is she now? She's in the living room destroying things. I better stop her. Igwe, Igwe, no, no. Please don't go there. I'm afraid if she sees you, she might injure you because she's having a sharp object. So you want me to fold my hands and let all our valuables be destroyed? No. Please, let us just call the doctor. Call the hospital before it gets out of hand. Hi. Well, she'll be admitted in this place only on one condition. And what could that be, Doctor? That one of you will have to stay back to be taking care of her. Look, Doctor. My wife and I are always attending one political or traditional oh, meeting. Don't get me angry, Your Highness. What? Are your political meetings more important than your daughter's life? No, but uh, we can get somebody to look after you. Mm -hmm. No. This is not going to be like the other time, Your Highness. If you people want her admitted in this place, then one of you must have to stay back and be looking after her. Period. It's all right, doctor. I'll stay back. Fine. any food. What do you mean you did not waste any food? You threw the food I served you. Because the food was tasteless. So I threw it away. What you would have waited for me now? I am hungry. Don't stand and argue useless, nonsense, rubbish arguments. Go and bring me food. You are hungry. You are going to start with this. Cynthia, come and take your bath. Hmm? Come and take your bath. Who will bath me? Me, of course. Huh? Hmm. No. Justin is going to bath me. I'm waiting for Justin to come. He's soon coming. He called me on the phone. Are you coming with me or you want me to use my cane? Oh, can you bath me now? My Justin is coming to bath me. You will drive the car. He called me. Are you coming with me? Get up! Come here! Eh? Eh? No, no! Come here! Don't, don't touch me, oh! Don't touch me, oh! I said, come here! Don't touch me, oh! Come! Go! 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 Did you buy any sense provoke her or something? Just that 
I used shame on her when she refused to, to have a bath. Madam, I have told you using cane and force cannot solve this problem. Rather, it compounds it. I mean, there are better ways to handle patients like this. Okay? Are you Cynthia? You shouldn't have beaten your mother who has been taking care of you. But she was flogging me. Hmm? Please, is there anywhere I can treat the... Yes, um, in the pharmacy. Could you please take me to the place? I will take you. But, madam, you see, you really have to take it easy with your daughter. Okay? You have to take it easy with your daughter. Or better still, get someone close to her. Preferably her rich mate. I'll discuss it with my husband. And who will be birthing me? Huh? Cynthia, you will have to do that yourself today. Except if you don't want your doctor to come and see you. Okay. In that case, let me go and call my Johnson to come and birth me. Look at her beautiful face. See that beautiful nose. <laughs> Look at that beautiful hand. Look at this. Look at the nose, very fine. Don't tell me that. Very light. <laughs> <laughs> She's very just that he's telling me that. Yeah, but I can't tell you that. I go to the bar, okay? I'm going to call Johnson, and Johnson will come and pet you. And then Johnson will just come and rub you like this. <laughs> make you fine. Madam, I was having a chat with Cynthia in my office yesterday when, when you went to get her drugs. And she told me some very pathetic and agonizing stories about her life. You see, I, I did not believe her because sometimes some of our patients do not know what they say. So I decided to find out from you. What is it you want to find out from me? Honestly speaking, Igwe, I don't think I'll continue to take care of someone who does not have human sympathy. That girl is so heady, so heartless, always provoking the person next to her. I understand you, my dear. But you must know that she's sick. She's not normal. So please, stay with her a little bit until she gets better. Igwe, I have tried. I've sustained enough injuries. Asking me to stay back is endangering my own life. Because that girl has sworn to deal with me if I do not provide Johnson. Igwe, in fact, for three days now, can you believe that? For three days, I have not slept with her in the same room. Because I'm so scared she could wake up one night and kill me. I... I, I think I better talk some sense into her. Ah, Igwe, I advise you don't go in there. Because she wouldn't want to see you. Unless you want to be disgraced. What do you advise? I advise you look for someone else to take care of her. Or better still, you can take up the challenge. After all, she's your daughter. I know she's my daughter, but uh, you must understand my position. Your position as a traditional ruler. Igwe, is that what you want to tell me? Listen, Igwe, there is no home, no family without its own problems. It all depends on how you tackle them. I think, I think you're misunderstanding me here. There is this national convention of the party coming up in Abuja. I 
as an executive, I have to be there. It will talk as if this heaven will fall if you're not there. There are other executives there. Listen, Igwe. A man whose house is on fire does not chase rats. Confess you are doing a damn good job with this place. That's what it should be, Your Highness. That is good. I appreciate it a lot. Um, my wife told me that Cynthia was becoming hostile, uncontrollable, and naughty, and even went as far as biting her. So I felt I should come and meet you to find out what could have been the the reason for this sudden change of attitude. You see, Your Highness, a psychiatric does not need to be provoked at any point in time because that irritates them a lot. And most times they lose control and do terrible things. So what we do here is we just pet them, even when they do worse things. And so what it means is that the patient's relatives actually have to be very enduring and tolerant. Well, is it uh, possible for you to assist us and arrange for somebody to take care of her while my wife rests for a few days? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Your Highness. We do not make such arrangements here. Doctor, I, I, I don't want uh, money to be an impediment for you to make these arrangements. I am ready to pay anything. Your Highness, this, this is not the kind of hospital actually where you where you deposit some money and the hospital takes care of your patient. And unfortunately too, the person that could have been of help is no more. No more? Who could that be? The person I am talking about knows how best to take care of the patient. And his lyrics makes them recover quickly. I am talking about Johnson Chijinder. She was a 
abusing me. Yes, what I'm trying to say is that if you come to me like this, you know, you can tell me that it works. And that will be good for you. Yes. Next time, I'll try to get you to me. Yeah? Yeah. You guys don't know much. I'm fine, I'm getting better. I can see for myself. Cynthia, uh, someone is here to see you. I hope he's not that heartless man that calls himself my father. Listen, please, I don't want to see him, okay? Because the sight of him reminds me of my situation. Please. Mm -mm -mm. Far from that, Cynthia. You will really like this one. Okay. Excuse me. Cynthia. You're supposed to be dead. 
Three hands, three hands, three hands. I swear I'll be there for you. I swear I'll be there for you. Anytime, any day, whatever it takes, I swear I'll be there for you. Do <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cynthia, time to take your drugs and injections. Doctor, I hope you have not come here to spoil my mood. No, beautiful Cynthia, I'm only here to do my job. <laughs> he's not doctor, he's, he's nurse Ken, okay? Kenneth, Kenneth, not What is this nonsense I am saying? Why is this idiot? Touching my daughter. It will be a good afternoon. Look, 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 look. I'm not in the mood for such pleasantries. Does. Are you the one who arranged this stupid and hopeless meeting? No, Your Highness. I I only came to administer her drugs and injections. That's all, sir. I see. And you love her. How many times have I told you to stay clear of? And that because of your, your class, you can never marry her. How many times have I told you? Just stand right here. Would you shut up and sit I her? will not shut up, Dad. And listen, if you have come here this afternoon to spoil my happiness, then it will not work for you because I am ready to leave this place right now with Justin. You dare not, Cynthia. And if I do, what will you do? Cynthia, I swear. I swear you will. Regret this day. <laughs> Too bad. Let's go. Let's go. This is review. Cynthia, your drugs. One thing you must know, Your Highness, is that your daughter is not fully recovered. And she hates being ordered around by anybody, whosoever. Where is my wife? I don't know, Your Highness. But I overheard somebody saying she saw her earlier in the day, leaving the hospital premises. I guess she must have sneaked out while I was busy in the office. And now that Johnson is gone, I think you may just have to stay back and take care of her, Your Highness. And that is if the hospital management still approves of her staying in this place. What do you mean by that? You see, Your Highness, your daughter's admission in this place is actually beginning to get on our nerves. And if proper care is not taken, she may just have to be discharged, even without getting healed. supposed to be in the hospital looking after Cynthia. You will have come to rest my nerves. And who is looking after her then? Nobody. And you came to rest your nerves? You will. Asking me to go back to that hospital to look after Cynthia will be risking my life. And I... W would you stop this stupid explanation of yours? 
and go to that hospital now and do what you are supposed to do. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Since when have you started disobeying my authority? Igwe, it's not that if I'm, I'm disobeying your orders, but it's just that... Look, 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 look. Obi, dear. You better get up and go and do what I have asked you to do. Otherwise, when I get down there and come back, you will know who your husband is. I have to rest. I have not come to threaten you, nor kill you. But for us to make peace. Make peace? It's impossible, your highness. Because the lion and the goat can never make peace. I, I know that uh, I have dealt some deadly blows on you, for which I am terribly sorry. Sorry, you said? So if you had killed me all this while, I have gone back to my family to say sorry. Huh? I understand your grievances. But the good news is that you did not die. So we can work things out. Work what out, your highness? Work what out? Your relationship with Cynthia. It's only a fool that will sit and listen to your sermon, your highness. So I suggest this discussion ends before it leads into something else. Johnson. It will not result into anything. I've just come to realize that you are truly in love with my daughter, Cynthia. And, I, and now you are proof of the same relationship you vehemently kicked against. Simply because your wife left the hospital. And you now want someone to take care of your dear daughter, Cynthia. Isn't it, Your Highness? I wouldn't want to have anything to do with you. Your daughter, nor your family anymore. No, 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 please. I know you are saying all this because of our past, uh, because of uh, your grievances uh, with me in the past. Please, your highness, don't reopen past wounds, or else you spark off chains of reactions. As you can see, I am quite busy, and I will not want our life to be disturbed. And what is that supposed to mean? This meeting is over, Your Highness. I told you that the ceremony will commence at two o'clock. And as royal father and mother of the day, we are expected to be there on time. He will. So the ceremony is more important to you than your daughter's life. Oh, no. But what could I do? You left the hospital and left. There was nobody to take care of her again. He will. You know what to do. You know what to do, Iwe. Just that the custom and tradition of our land will not allow you to see. Tell me, what is it that needed to be done that I have not done? Tell me, what is it? Yesterday evening, I went to Johnson's house. And he walked me out. Can you imagine? He walked a whole me out of his house. This morning... I have been to his office. I pleaded and pleaded, but he would not listen. Look at it. Just look at it, Igwe. Who will take care of Cynthia like John Igwe? John 
sin. The customs and tradition of our land did not allow you to play the role you wanted to play in our family. But let it be. I have done everything possible to salvage the situation, but all my efforts were futile. Why wouldn't they be futile? When several attempts have been made on that innocent young man to take his life. the last incident. Not to talk of buying me gifts like this. Oh, come on, Cynthia. You should have known that I truly love you. I mean, how am I going to be comfortable hearing that the company, I mean, the, your hospital is about kicking you out without letting you get well? It's not going to be comfortable at all. You did well. <laughs> That alone shows me how much you love me. <laughs> well, uh, time to eat. Yeah, time to eat. But, uh, unfortunately, I can't help myself. I don't understand. I went to fetch water from the tank, so I fell down and I I had this dislocation on my hand. I'm sorry about that, okay? Have you done anything to it? No, see. Sorry. <laughs> well, um, no, Kenneth helped me with his neck and bone. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, it's... That's very nice of you. So that means I'll... I have to do the, do the feeling myself. When love is strong, Destroy true love never What are you people doing here? We are here to see you, Princess. What for? <gasps> to see how you are faring. After you abandoned me here for five days? Oh, Princess, you were not abandoned. Mm -hmm. Maybe you thought I was dead. And then you obviously came in here to pick up my cups. No. No, Princess, please don't see it that way. We are your parents and we know what is good for you. You know, you don't deserve to be called my parent. <clears throat> The guy who wants his blood at all costs heard that the hospital management were about to discharge me unceremoniously, left everything he was doing just to come and look after me. But you people, you just chose to dump me here and run after material things. No, don't think like that. You were becoming... I was becoming uncontrollable, isn't it? Listen, Dad. If you people ever had me at heart, you would have endured, no matter the condition. Um, Princess, we're, we're deeply very sorry. We promise it won't happen again. Yes, Princess. Please forgive us. Forgive you? How can I forgive you people after you destroyed my life? Oh, don't you know that 
It was your actions that drove me back to this this hopeless condition. We will make it up to you. We will. <laughs> you will make it up to me. I like that. But how will you make it up to me when you're still still crazy about my getting married to Prince Mwafo? How? Princess, that is why we are here. Yes, Princess. Um, it is no more Prince Obina Wafo, but Johnson Chichin. <laughs> Destroy it. True love never dies. In the end, it will stand the test of time. When two people love each other, they'll stick together against all odds. For each other. Who do we have here? Good afternoon, ma. Fine afternoon, Johnson. How are you? I'm fine. I can see that. Uh, where is Cynthia? Oh, the house have said she went across the road to get one or two things from the supermarket. So I decided to wait for her. Okay. okay. Have you seen his sinus? No. Um, she said he would join me in no time. And so I... I'm keeping myself busy with this. Ah, I can see you have so much interest in that. Oh, yes. A classmate of mine had his wedding in this, you know, they carried it in this edition. Really? Well, if you want yours to be in all the pages, we can help you achieve that. Oh, thanks, ma'am. But I, I already fixed that. Really? That's wonderful. You know, Johnson... Your wedding must be talk of the town. Okay. Everybody must be there. Top government officials, great men of God, captains of all industries, traditional rulers, cream dollar cream in the society must be there. <laughs> well, ma'am, I, I just hope it will be a success story. Of course it will be, my son. Apples. I love apples. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I take one out of them. Go, of them. go ahead. Break a leg, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Uh, let me go and tell His Highness that you're here. Around. Okay, ma'am. I'll be waiting. Okay. Is there any problem? Igwe, I'm back from the meeting. I want to tell you that Johnson is downstairs waiting for you. Honey, do you know that he told me that he has arranged for Reflection magazine to cover their wedding? Does he know how much it costs? Of course he should know. Well, that boy's not as wretched as I thought. <laughs> well, I think I should go downstairs and see him. That would be nice, Igwe. <laughs> Where did you get that apple that you are eating from? From the ones they served Johnson.
Madam. I am sorry, Your Highness. Sorry for what? She couldn't make it. We lost her. What do you mean by that? Your wife is dead, Your Highness. Dead? Why didn't you tell me you were not com competent to handle the situation? Why? But it is not our fault, Your Highness. She lost so much blood before she was brought to the hospital. But if I may ask, did anybody by any chance poison your wife's food? What type of stupid question is that? It is not a stupid question, Your Highness. The test proves that your wife has some poisonous substance in her system. About Chinedu, oh, a friend of mine that I've always been longing to see. Oh, luckily, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, luckily for me today, I ran into him at the bank. Oh, that's nice. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Pleasure is all mine. Well, um, Chinedu, here is Richard, the most prolific artistic director. Hey, there you go again. <laughs> the guy is so much brains, man. Ah, you guys are really doing a damn good job in the movie industry. I am one of those that. Uh, watch your films, and I appreciate your untiring efforts to rebuild our nation through our movies. But we can only try our best. <laughs> Thank you very much, um, Sage, for the compliment. But then, actually, I would have loved to sit here with you and, you know, chat more, but I have an appointment I need to keep. So maybe next time we'll meet. Okay, and you too. Turn up, man. Go and make money. I need yeah. to. Break a leg. I need it to. Uh, no, 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 no. I won't break it. <laughs> So, uh, how has it been? Uh, God has been faithful. Okay. I am now a graduate and I now work as the sales executive at Chris Echo Game Investments Limited. That's good. That's great. Great news. So, um, how about your parents, your mom? I mean, your brothers, your sisters, the ones in America? My mother, she has since regained consciousness. And recently, she just traveled to the U.S. to visit with my other brother. Praise God for her life. I'm grateful. Yeah, up to all times, man. Did you discover anything? I must tell you, Cynthia, your father's illness has defied all medical solutions. And as a matter of fact, his chances of survival is now 50-50. 50-50? Doctor, what do you mean by 50-50? Well, your father is now battling between life and death. Jesus Christ. Doctor, has, that, has it gotten to that extent? That is the situation, my dear. I suggest you bring a man of God to pray for him. Doctor, I have invited my pastor to this house to pray for my father several times, but he has refused to be prayed for. But I don't know what else to do, really. Sounds unfortunate, my dear. But don't forget to always pray for your father. I must take my leave. Thank you. Because I noticed last night that you lost concentration while we were shooting the last bit. Richard, I'm worried. I'm worried about my father in law's ill health. Man, I can understand how you feel. But see, you just you just have to put yourself together, you know? You have to put yourself together because it's really affecting this production. 
and I'm sure by now the cast and crew and even the executive producer will be complaining bitterly. Correct. But anyway, I hope to wrap this production anyhow by tomorrow. Anyhow. I must call it a wrap tomorrow. You know, so it won't be much problem. Well, I hope so. I just hope so. Boy. Let me go and get some things ready. Uh, um, is, um, help me tell the production manager and my crew that I'll join them in the GFA, okay? All right. You guys just hang on. I'll join you in less than two minutes. Let me just finish this chat board. Okay, I'll do that. Hello. Hi, my angel. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good morning. Yes, I, I called you some moments ago, but you were not handy to pick your call. What happened? So, how is your dad? What? Oh, God. Look, princess, I'm sorry it's not going to be possible. As I talk to you, my cast and crew are downstairs waiting for me, and I have to call this production off by tomorrow. <sighs> okay, um, let me see what I can do, okay? I'll try my best. Whatever I can do, I'll try, okay? Yes, yes, since it's very urgent. Have a lovely day. Yeah, don't think too much, okay? Just my love you. Bye. I have called both of you here. So that I can pour out my heart to you. Some of the things I want to say, you already know. But the genesis, I believe, you don't know. When I was contesting the for the throne as a traditional ruler of our people, it became obvious that my opponent was going to win. I... I was... by fraternity to become a member with the promise that I become king and I became king one of the oaths that I took was that all members of my family will be introduced to this fraternity fraternity jumped her and she became a member when it became your turn I had to phantom out a way to go about it I was distracted by your relationship with Johnson. 
because you were also to marry a member of this same fraternity. And if you did not marry from this fraternity, you would die. And because I I did not want you to die, I had to do everything, everything possible to stop Johnson. I, through the help of members of the same fraternity, had to inflict you with this temporary memory madness. This same fraternity after my life. And there is no remedy except death. I killed her too, <laughs> but she wasn't meant to be. She ate the apple that was meant for Johnson to eat and die. Oh. Ah, wherever she is now, I hope she has a place in her heart to forgive me. forgive you and I wish there could be anything I I could do to, to give back your life to you if there is I would gladly do it your highness I am getting weaker no I'm daddy please don't, don't leave me just like mom please don't leave me now daddy please please don't leave me now please daddy please No! No! 
Please, Johannes. Daddy, please. 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 Daddy, please.